dialectical behavior therapy, or DBT, emotion regulation skills. Gain control over your emotions. Recognize and name your emotions without judging them or yourself or feeling them. Do not suppress or mask emotions, but allow them to arise. Learn to identify the physical vulnerabilities and mental thought patterns that sustain your emotions. Learn to increase your positive emotions. Practice summoning up the opposite emotions. Learn to surf your urges and ride them out rather than giving in to them. Learn problem-solving skills. Figure out the story of each emotion. 1. Determine what triggered the emotion. 2. Analyze and interpret that event. 3. Become mindful of the physiological symptoms it causes to arise in your body. 4. Understand what this emotion is saying to you and the action it is urging you to take. 5. Take that action. 6. Finish by naming the emotion. Reduce vulnerability, please. Doing whatever you can for your own body's health because when it is not feeling well, negative emotions can be more intense. Treat physical illness and take care of the body. Eat properly by getting good nutritious foods and not going hungry. Avoid mood-altering drugs and take the medicine prescribed by your doctor. Sleep properly by having a regular bedtime and getting a healthy amount of sleep so you feel rested and vibrant. Exercise every day, take brisk walks, go to the gym or whatever works for you. Build mastery. Do one thing each day that makes you feel competent and in control. Perhaps something you already excel at, something new, or an area where you wish to learn more or acquire new skills. Perhaps draw a picture, write, play a musical instrument, learn a new language. Build positive experiences. Short term, do pleasant things that are possible now. Increase pleasant experiences that prompt positive emotions. Long term, make changes in your life so that positive events will occur more often. Make a list of positive events you want. List small steps towards goals. Take first step. Opposite to emotion. Negative feelings do not exist in isolation and are always connected with a positive feeling. Happiness is connected with sadness, love with anger, peace with fear, joy with despair. The first step involves becoming mindful so we can notice and name what we are feeling. The second step involves knowing we can generate positive emotions through our actions and summon the opposite emotion, perhaps by dancing, smiling, or laughing. Urge surfing. When we are feeling a particularly nasty urge, we should learn to surf it without giving in to it, pushing it away, magnifying it, or attempting to mask it with any kind of risky behavior. This requires a strong degree of detachment and an ability to accept this emotion without judging it.
letting go of emotional suffering. We can feel depressed, but we can also suffer because we are feeling depressed. And often the suffering is worse than the feeling because it involves beating ourselves up over feeling bad, which just makes it worse. Here a key lies in acceptance and mindfully holding on to the feeling and simply being present with this feeling and acknowledging it because doing so short-circuits any suffering that may arise. 